Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to display a pop-up after someone submits a contact form. And here's an example of what we're going to pull off in this Elementor tutorial. After someone submits this form, I just wanted a simple pop-up to display a download link to a file or something like that. So you can see after someone submits it, you hit send message, and then this is going to pop up automatically. This can be helpful in a lot of ways, like marketing a special deal, or in this case, uh, we can display something like a download file button after someone submits the form. To keep this tutorial a little bit shorter, if you are new to Elementor pop-up settings, I recommend you watching this video right here first. This way you can understand how you can build your pop-ups, and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is you can just integrate that into your contact form. So I'm gonna leave a link to this video in the description below, and also up here, you're gonna see a little pop-up. You can just click that now and watch it if you like. The first thing you need to do is create the pop-up. So in this case, I just have this simple pop-up where I want to have it where you can explore more courses or download a file. Um, this is actually one of the Elementor templates. So if you like this template, it's in one of the uh, preset ones. This was just an example. So once you have everything laid out the way you want and you know, you're fit to size, um, you can go down here, just hit update and then make sure you save it out. So in this case, um, this isn't going to be triggered or displayed you know, throughout the website or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about having anything under conditions or triggers, you can just leave this stuff blank. So if you know you're just gonna use it for the contact form, you can just hit save and close, and then you'll be good to go. Here we are on the page that has the contact form, and to activate a pop-up after submit, it's very simple. You just need to go under the actions after submit, and they have this all built in, which makes it very easy. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you're gonna see this one called pop-up. Once you click that, you're gonna see this new dialog box come up right here. And as you can see, I already had this one in here, but you can go to open pop-up and then you just need to remember what you uh, name this. So in this case, this pop-up was just called thank you. So you just need to search for that. So if I just type in thank you, it comes up in a second. You click that and that's it. It's as simple as that. You don't have to do any other settings or anything like that. Um, I do recommend uh, right here underneath um, the additional options, I do recommend keeping the user on the page and don't have it like redirect because what happens is after someone submits it, you want it to have, you know, this message that says, oh, we're going to respond to you or whatever it may be. Uh, that way the user knows that they haven't left that page. And when they close down the pop-up, that little message will show down here. So now let's just do a simple test in the front end. Just make sure everything's working correctly. And here we are on the front end. I'm just going to enter in this test information, hit submit. And now this is going to do the pop-up just like we have. And this right here is that message I just mentioned. Um, that's why I recommend keeping the user on the page and don't have it redirect. Um, have it so when they close down that pop-up, they can see that you know the contact form still submitted. And that's it for this quick Elementor tutorial. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wikidesign.